Hello friends, in this video, I will guide you to edit a photo at night. To make it so impressive. To take a picture like this. You see this is a photo where the light is very smooth. As well as the detail of the subject is very clear. Then join my lighting course to understand how to set up. How to take impressive photos. Then first to edit this photo. Then I will rebalance the horizon for the photo. I create a new layer. In the layer, I rebalance the image right away. Then after the photo it right away. Then I will brighten the photo. By the way, I will increase this plus 0.3 stops. The first is this photo I will increase quite a few times. Because I looked at the histogram I found it a bit dark. However, I still see this point it touches. But overall the picture is dark. If I want the photo to be brighter, I will increase the light for the photo. I saw that by this point, the picture was relatively bright. Look at the skin. Okay, it's relatively bright, I'll group all these layers together. Before, after. I will merge this layer together. I waited a little bit and I saw the horizon right away. But the building is slightly tilted. So I waited a little bit backwards. Let the building be straight. Now it's straight. I will group all the layers together. Now I will increase the light but not the subject. Which means that I sees that in this photo the sky is a bit dark. It hasn't turned on according to my wishes. So I create a new layer. And I add more bright. But my purpose of increasing the light is that it is not for the subject anymore, but for the sky. I will increase the light, but then I just sweep into the sky. I see that it's light on the ground now. And it's still pretty dark in the sky, so I continues to rise. That the sky now was bright. I will group all these layers together. I click merge, and then I create a mask. And I change the mask. Command I or Control I. I invert the mask again. Now it's the black mask. And the black mask below, I change it back to the white mask, I press X and I change it. And now I will sweep in, 100% reset brush to the sky. Let the sky it light up. So this is how I brighten up the sky. Then after I increase the light, I will see the sky it's a bit faded but I'm okay. I will deal with it later. You want to add black to it is also very easy. Here you will see, before, after. Also, if you want this grass to be a little brighter, I'll start by changing the opacity. I give only 50%. And I sweep in the grass. Then I will see it light up. So now it's up to you how bright you want it to be, how much you scan. Now I will see that the picture of me is only a few steps. Then it has changed a lot, before, after. Much brighter already. Next I will create a new layer and I will delete the things that are not beautiful. First I delete the below. I will zone these are not beautiful. Then you click on this erase button. Then it will automatically delete. Then see? The places I deleted are not beautiful. I will continue to delete them. Click erase. Now I will delete this. I will zone. Erase the bright flares here too. Click erase. This part of the subject is a bit big, so it deletes the lock. I have to delete it slowly. That you see? I have to delete it slowly, it takes many steps to delete it. Because this picture I wants to take this building, it stick an electric pole here. This is a position that I cannot avoid. However, usually when shooting, I will also have angles that are not very satisfactory. But I have to choose. Then I did the post-processing again, no problem at all. However, you must determine if you can handle it or not before taking a photo. Before shooting, I always have to consider whether I can handle this in post-production or not. And I figured it could be handled, so I took the shot. There are situations where there are very beautiful backgrounds but I don't take pictures. Because I knew I wouldn't be able to handle it in post-production. This poll, I think I can handle it, so I took a photo. Okay, I will do it carefully, I will zoom in and start deleting. Then I just need to click erase, 
I delete very quickly. Then after deleting it, I think it's okay. Now let's make it even cleaner, for example this has a light border. Then I will do the thing that presses M. Choose. And I pulled out my picture. You see, the dress is bigger now and in addition, I also removed the hem. However, in the back of my mind, I still had to do the deletion. After deleting, I will drag the photo out. Then it will be more natural. Then I can also recompose the photo by dragging the photo up a bit. Let me lengthen the dress a bit. Give it balance. Also note that here I uses LEDs for the dress. So I will delete these lights too. I will delete this thread. Then after I delete, I adjust the dress and I will see that I have a very clean photo. Before. After. Okay. This sky color is not very impressive. I find it a bit black. And I can change this sky color by being here. Fine Arts pressed. And I will choose the color. Here Sam has two pre-designed colors, blue or brown. Then when I click on it, I will see that my photo is a bit dark. For now I leave it as it is and I will click Invert Mask. I press Command or Control I. I change the mask. I will see that here is a black mask. And I will change X, white mask. I will scan in. Reset brush to 100%, I scanned in my photo. I scan the sky. Then I will see that my sky is now turning blue. I always set presets will be darker. For what? So that I can easily change its opacity. For example, when I scan in, I see that the sky is too blue. Then it's not pretty. But rest assured, you keep scanning. Well, now that it's green like that, I'll change it back to the opacity. Depends on your wishes. Then you see with just one click, my sky has changed much more impressively. See? Next, I can increase the contrast for my photo, plus contrast. You see before. After his contrast, the picture is clearer. This is the step if you want to stop at this step, just edit it. Then you take note. Sam demoed it for you guys, but when I do, I'll scan it. I will click on this mask, I will remove the borders from it. I changed the mask so I could delete it. Which one it's obsessed with too much in the lower part. You can make it natural. And I will carefully scan my part of the sky. Don't let it be redundant. I will scan these borders carefully. I will zoom in, I scan carefully. Here's the demo so I does it fast. Add contrast, you will see that your picture is much clearer. This skinning part is also very easy, because the image is very far away. Then my fine art secret tool. I will merge the layer first. There are many effects for you. Add clouds, bokeh. Lots of bokeh you can replace and especially I has a partial cloud substitute. In this photo I can change the clouds. However, the change of this cloud is that it can only be used for Photoshop 2021. If you do not have the new software, please upgrade it. You see, now I choose night. Then you guys have a lot of clouds at night, so I can replace this cloud. Okay. If you see clouds at night, you can reduce the opacity. I rescanned it, adjusted it to fit. Normally, I rarely change as clouds. Because I felt that if he adjusted the sky to be so blue, it would be beautiful. Or I can, if you guys think this blue is a bit too strong. You can reduce this blue color by being nullified by color cast, you reduce blue. Then I just need to reduce this opacity in blue. Do you see? Very simple, very easy. The more you subtract, the more discolored it will be. Then the thing that increases and decreases the color is very simple. And the blue one is this, you guys think it's a bit too dark, it's too popular, I don't want it. Then I can, one is I switch from green to another color. I can make it darker. That's what you see, it's colored. Two is that I can reduce this green color. Except for greens. And I can reduce its opacity. This one has been changed to a different color. A tone like vintage, but I think it's too dark. That you can reduce, it's up to you. 
increase or decrease this screen it will change your image. Next, I can highlight the subject more. By contrasting only the subject, I will scan. Brush, Contrast. This is an extra enhancement, it's true that you edit this photo and I find it beautiful. I've adjusted to here and it looks good, before. After that, it's beautiful. However, I will guide you further. For those of you who want to improve more, you can know how to adjust. You can go to contrast. I scan this dress, you will see it stand out. I will block this photo. In addition, I can also scan more details. Let this part highlight it. Because of this dress in this photo it is my main subject. I want it to stand out. Just like this tent. Then next I might want to be for morning and evening. Then I will merge these layers together and I will burn. I will burn. As well as dodge to give it more volume. I'll dodge the parts I want to light up. Then after you finish the block, you find your dress more impressive. Before, after. I'll see the dress stand out more. The skin of this photo is super simple, because it's so far away, it's not very visible. I can also skip it. Here is a photo that I edited at night. Then I can usually replace the clouds. However, I also does not encourage you in the pairing of clouds. Although I has a lot of clouds. Then you can use cloud grafting, if you don't like editing. Do you see? That I can reduce its opacity. Then I delete the border and I'm done with the cloud part. This cloud color you can increase or decrease by subtracting blue. Or add blue depending on your color taste. Well, everyone has a different color taste. Then I will not have a specific designation, but depending on your taste. But I will choose the way I process the photo to make it best suited to my style. The tool it will help me perfect and quickly edit a better photo. And if you are interested in how to take such a beautiful photo, then join my online courses. Let me master the technique to master the light and create masterpieces like this. Thank you for watching the video and please subscribe to follow other videos.